Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. Happens to be my birthday week. So anyway, we're just going to see what comes up for this week for the sign of Taurus. Start right here for an overall energy, then we're going to use this deck. So what do we have for Taurus for the week of May 18th through the 24th? What do we have for Taurus? Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. And the timing is fluid. So what do we have? Ooh, temperance reversed. So the temperance reversed is not in the flow. Uh, frustrated. Uh, maybe some chaos. Could be some upheaval. Unwilling to compromise. So the, this is the overall energy of the week. Temperance reversed. Conflicts. Yeehaw. Mood swings. Lack of control. We could be emotionally unstable. Holding on to things. Not letting go. Hmm. Something is going on here, Taurus. So that's emotionally unstable. Refusing to change, no way. Um, there's some sort of disharmony this week. I mean, the temperance reverse is disharmony. Hmm, lack of control. Nine of Wands reversed, Monday. Nine of Wands reversed. The Emperor. Now, there, there could be an emotional week. Unable to control emotions. It could be a very emotional week for you. Tuesday. Ooh. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three cards for Saturday, and Sunday. What do we have for Sunday? Sunday is the 24th. Judgment reversed. One more card. Two cards. King of Wands and the Hangman. Yay. Reverse. So, what do we get? So, you're going to have to make a choice this week. And I feel like you are going to be having a hard time with that choice. And I say that because we got the lovers on the bottom. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on here. But there's definitely a choice. And whether it's you making the choice or somebody that you are dealing with that is making the choice. There's a choice between two lovers here. A choice between two options this week. It's a difficult decision. And if it's not lovers, it's a choice, period. Okay. Um, and there's chaos. There's conflict. There's emotional imbalance. So you're going to have an emotional week. Yay. On Monday. On Monday, there is avoiding challenge. Great personal fear. You could be dealing with an individual. I feel like this is the other person. With these readings, I feel like this is the other person and this is your energy. But it could go vice versa. But this is somebody, uh, we have somebody here that has some hard feelings. They're angry. They've been wounded. They've had a tough life, a very hard life. Could we deal? We so we have one person that is angry and upset, and, and you know, it looks like disgusted, disgusted. Now this could be a father figure, a husband, a boss, whatever. But on Monday, there's an element of I don't trust you. I can't believe you did this to me. 
Um, it could be dealing with a father or somebody that is in authority that has abused their power. This is an abuse of power. So on Monday, with the Emperor reversed next to that Nine of Wands, I'm, I'm not sure, what, what was this, Monday the 18th? There could be some sort of conflict with somebody. Now, this whoever you're dealing with may have a business. They may be a boss or a business owner or somebody in an uh, authoritative position. It could be a father, a husband, whatever. Somebody that is very dominant, very masculine energy. But the emperor in reverse is somebody that doesn't take responsibility, isn't interested in helping, um, is only looking out for themselves. We could be dealing with an individual that is power hungry on Monday. Could be a tyrant, somebody that is very in, entitled, um, deserts you in the time of need. So Monday, I feel like there is uh, a conflict with an, an, a, this person may be abusive. It may be abusive and you may be feeling extremely fearful or paranoid or disgusted with this person. So there could be an element of disgust with an individual or if it's not disgust, it's, it's sadness. Okay. With a nine of wands, it's hard feelings, put it that way. So there is some hard feelings with an individual that has probably neglected you or abused you or treated you badly okay the emperor reverse is only cares about himself and only himself and nobody but himself so this is somebody that is very selfish we we have one person that is just like maybe you feel like your life has been turned upside down by this person anyway it's like unbelievable so monday something could happen that you know you're just like Maybe you're wowed by it or you're, maybe you're not wowed by it. Maybe you're just like dumbfounded and you're like <laughs> disgusted. So I'm not sure what is going on on Monday, but you're dealing with a, a very uh, mean person. I think you got a mean individual here that is not even giving you the time of day they are very egotistical and uh you may be be like you know is this even worth it why would why do i even care about this person this person doesn't care about me there could be an argument even on monday okay um something to do with an arm this person may grab you by the arm or I don't know if that's the case or not, but you notice there's a bandage on this person's arm. Or maybe maybe you hurt your arm and this person could care less. They're not going to help you. I'm not sure what is going on. Um, uh, and maybe it doesn't have anything to do with an arm or not, but for some reason I saw that bandage. And, and maybe you've been putting a band-aid on. Maybe it doesn't have anything at all to do with an arm. Maybe it's it's time to stop wearing band-aids and maybe you can't maybe you need to just stop putting yourself in that abusive situation whatever it is i don't know anyway tuesday monday looks like there's trouble okay it looks like you're dealing with an individual that is abusive okay um so i don't know um and this person may have hurt you okay maybe this person is going down and they because this is somebody that is very wounded by this individual this could be a like i already said a father a husband a boyfriend somebody that is very dominant and doesn't care this one is wounded so there's wounds okay and disgust so tuesday seven of swans reversed in the moon so there's secrets there's lies there's deception could be dealing with the pisces could be dealing with the aries you could be dealing with a taurus because taurus often is emperor um There's definitely some hard feelings with this individual, whoever it is. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Aries. Anyway, this uh, Tuesday, there's deception, there's lies, there's somebody's hiding something. They're not telling the truth. Uh, all is not as it seems. You need to beware, okay? This is like going backwards, falling down, losing power. You could be dealing with an individual that is um, holding you down. They're pulling you down. They're wearing you down and you're overwhelmed. You may be feeling like you're going downhill. You're going in the wrong direction. You may be dealing with somebody that has addictions. They're lying to you. They are. They're lying to you. But this person may be losing their power over you. 
Um, there's some sort of weakness here. Weak? There is. There's some sort of weakness here. This person, I think that you're dealing with somebody that is lying and they're holding you down. And on Tuesday, oh, I need to get another card. We need another card for Tuesday because this is deception. Some lies. Somebody's holding you down. It's like you, you're going down. You're, they're bringing you down on Tuesday. Mm. You have a difficult path with this individual. Queen of... There may be another woman. You may be dealing with an individual who has another woman. You know, and you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to say no, no. If it, it feels like there is a person, there's somebody is maybe hiding. They may be hiding the fact that there's another person or something. Looking at another woman, you're dealing with a cheater or a liar or something like that that is hiding something. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe dealing with, with say, say for example, I'm not saying this is, this is the truth, but you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer that is dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? You may be dealing with this person that has another woman, they're hiding it, they're being very secretive, and that's why you're disgusted, maybe the truth comes out. Could be a Leo in particular. Um, Taurus. Now that's happiness, freedom, freedom. Somebody could be being broken free from an individual, and and this is a this is a, like a renewal, a new life. There's an opportunity to take action it is going to be tuesday is going to be a day of action it is with the queen of wands it's going to be a day of action it's going to it's it maybe scary but it's positive it's interesting because this is fearful this is it's scary the moon is scary when it's dark and it's it's it's, it's kind of scary it is it's scary but it's positive okay so tuesday i feel like is going to be challenging with the 7 of wands reversed i feel like um, there's some overwhelming, there's a setback of some sort. There's a setback. There's a fall from power. Or going downhill. Something is going down. Going down with another woman or another person. Somebody is hiding something. But it's, the light is going to be shown on it. Because light, sun versus moon. Oh, something is going to be shown on Tuesday about a woman. And this woman is a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. This woman, something is going to be shown. On Wednesday, we have the Chariot and the Nine of Cups. Sorry. On Wednesday, we have the Chariot and the Nine of Cups. So, that's moving. That is moving. Mastering your emotions, finding the mental strength to take a ride. Somebody's going to be taking a ride. They're going to be going someplace. It looks like parting ways. Somebody is, it feels like parting ways. Somebody on on uh, on Wednesday. This is driving. It is. It's driving, riding towards. Ah, oh, this is a new life. It is a new beginning. This is headed towards a new beginning, headed towards a new life. You just got to see where the cards land. But on Wednesday, somebody is, is departing. They are. They're separating because you see this one's going a different direction. There's a separation of some sort. This is going in a different direction. Nine of Cups is a card of... Oh, obviously, this person is alone. You think about the Eight of Cups. 
waiting. And then you go to the Nine of Cups, which is waiting, waiting for, I'd rather go my own way and wait and wait for the right one. Wait, I'll, I'd rather be alone. So if Wednesday, it's like choosing to go and wait for the right one, even if it means growing old alone, something like that. Waiting for wishful fulfillment, waiting for the right one. So we have this individual on Wednesday that has, has chosen to get in the driver's seat and take control, take control of their life and depart and go in a different direction. On Wednesday, there's is, this is abundance. This is being just fine, being comfortable, having it all, having plenty, just sitting there waiting, reading, reading, waiting. Looks like something may be coming on Wednesday. Something could be arriving on Wednesday. Okay, that you don't see coming. You'd say you're just sitting there and you're reading or you're doing your thing and somebody shows up on Wednesday. You don't even see it, okay, because you're doing your own thing. That could certainly happen on Wednesday. Wednesday is the 20th. Anyhow, um, something is going on on Wednesdays. You could be going for a ride. Hmm. There could be, you know, it looks like she's looking at a picture book, so I'm not sure if there's reminiscing. There could be reminiscing, looking at old pictures or something like that on Wednesday. But the Nine of Cups is a card, it's almost the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is extreme happiness, wish fulfillment, a, a relationship, waiting. So somebody could be arriving, could be a Cancer. Somebody could, it doesn't have to be, somebody could be arriving that you could end up getting, maybe you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this arrival, who knows, who knows, but um, this is a wish, you know, a wish card, somebody's been waiting and wishing and praying and just being patient, now we have an arrival, perhaps, so that's Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday is, is paranoid, very worried. <laughs> Moment of decision, needing to make a choice on Thursday. Uh, having some regrets. You may wake up in the morning with some regrets if you're not careful on Wednesday. So, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. You could wake up with some regrets, okay? You could, on on uh, Thursday morning, you know, you got to be careful with your choices. Which direction do you want to go here? Don't do anything stupid. Here I am talking to myself. Anyhow, um, yeah, it looks like we could, we could wake up with some regrets on Thursday morning. Uh, <laughs> Two of Wands, you better make a wise decision. Um, there's two paths, you're gonna have to make a decision. There's options, there's options. You know, when you get the Two of Wands, what, what is the best choice here? Do you stay or do you go? Did you make the right choice? I think that um, there's a level of restlessness on Thursday. Did you make the right choice? Was that the right choice? So a Thursday, I think you're going to be a little, and that's probably why there's, there's disharmony. There's emotional imbalance. You probably, something is going to happen. And this, this doesn't, this, this could be you, this other woman, you could be somebody's other woman. I don't know. This could be, this could be you being very attractive. Somebody is very attracted to you. They come out of hiding, you know, and they, they, they've been holding you down. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but, uh, you better be damn careful. Um, something is going to be revealed on Tuesday and you may be happy with whatever it is that you hear but there's some sort of deception behind it so you better be careful anyhow um, this is an arrival this person is waiting they're waiting to go for a ride must love to go for rides or something and you wake up in the morning with a little bit of uh, regret <laughs> So, anyhow, there could be some regrets on Thursday morning. Um, restlessness, you know, what should I do? Did I make the right choice? Should I go? Should I stay? What, whatever. Um, anyhow, 
I think Thursday is probably going to be a stressful, uh, re there's regrets on Thursday for whatever you did on Wednesday. So that ain't good. Um, anyhow, um, Thursday, Thursday, death, death and the ace of wands. Death is a, is the ending. Okay. It's a profound life change. Uh, it's a transition, transformation, separation. And this is something going south, not coming to fruition on Friday. No desire, no attraction, no desire to start fresh with somebody, no desire to go down that path. It's over. So something happens. Oh, I don't know what happens here, but you just maybe you just want to be wise this week and be by yourself. I mean, Maybe this is why this is separating. Maybe on, on Wednesday you have a choice. Obviously you do. This is this is why you watch these readings. To make sure you make the right decisions. I feel like you are going to be... Given an opportunity from somebody who really doesn't care about you. And... Um, they may be attracted to you in a sexual manner or something like that. Or I'm not sure what the case is, but there's lies, there's deception. This person may may make you happy in some way or you, you think there's an opportunity for growth. But if you always, even I don't care where these cards are, what kind of spread we're doing, there's really not any growth here. It will end just as quickly as it begins. I feel like you need to be really careful this week. I feel like um, there is somebody that is coming along on Wednesday that may have left you in the past. You maybe you were waiting, you were waiting for some sort of anything from this person, and I think they give it to you. I think they give you something, and I think that you wake up with some sort of regrets or. You know, or maybe you don't get it. Maybe you don't get it and you're sad in the morning and then you need to make a decision whether you want to keep investing in this or do you want to, you want to leave this person behind. Anyway, Thursday is going to be a day of probably feeling distraught and feeling restless. Maybe, maybe sad or guilty or ashamed or I don't know, but it's a day of feeling, you know, what should I do next? So you're going to be in a day of, of, Thursday is going to be a day of, uh, oh my God, what do I do now? What do I do now? Was that, you know, what do I do now? So Thursday is going to be that kind of energy. Um, so whatever you do on Wednesday, you know, I think that you you, you have everything that you need. So just be careful. Just be careful. Friday, we have an ending that leads to a new beginning because endings always lead to a new beginning. So that is the death of a situation that leads to a new beginning. But the Ace of Wands is, is a lack of fertility. There's it's no growth. It's uh, the Ace of Wands reverse. It's like didn't materialize, not excited, being weighed down. And you are weighed down up here too. So I, I, hmm, I need another card for Friday. Oh, the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. So this is somebody that you have a connection with. It's a it could be a soulmate connection. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, something may have ended, there's a lack of desire, there's no excitement, something didn't come to fruition or it didn't manifest or it didn't materialize, but there's a chance for a new beginning with this person. There is some sort of deep connection. This person may, uh, what is this, Friday? They may, um, oh God. They may take you someplace where there's a lot of flowers. I don't know. and But they don't have good intentions. This King of Pentacles in Reversed is very selfish. Um, interested in probably drugs, sex, illegal things, whatever. This person um, 
you probably have a connection with this person and you may want a new beginning with them, but I feel like it's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, could be a Leo, could be an Aries. Uh, whoever this person is, they don't have good intentions. And I feel like on Friday, you may need to really think about uh, your value, okay? Think about your value, what, it, what, what you know, because I think that you're going to, somebody may want to take advantage of you or they may think that, you know, you're naive or something like that. Um, this is an ending. This is the death of a situation that has no growth. There is some sort of connection, though, with the Six of Cups. Somebody that you know, somebody that you are very familiar with. This is the death of a situation with somebody that you have a soulmate connection with, okay? And I feel like this person... Um, doesn't have anything real to offer you. They may be a snake. Okay, they may be a snake. They, maybe they just feel inadequate. Maybe they feel inadequate. Maybe this person doesn't feel like they have enough to offer. I need to get another card. Two of Swords. So this is a head versus heart situation. On Friday, you're going to have to make a choice. There's no doubt about it. Do you want to go down this path with this person or not? Uh, it looks like it is. It's a fight to the death kind of thing. I don't know. Um, this is a real struggle. King of Coins reversed. This person may be lazy. They're lazy. They don't put in a lot of effort. They don't have a lot of ambition. But there's a soulmate connection. So Friday, you're going to be dealing with somebody who probably wants you to... Maybe they're poking at you or they're picking at you or they're uh, testing you. And you're going to need to uh, use your, your head, not your heart. Oh, God. So, let's talk about where we're at. We're going to run out of time here. Um, Saturday. Ten of Swords. King of Swords. Seven of Coins Reverse. Saturday. This is the death of the situation. It's over. It's done. It's already happened. It's already ended. So it's let's see some crow. It looks like it's going to be a troublesome week by the looks of things. You may get. You may have some regrets. You may end up doing something that you regret, and I feel like it will end just as quickly as it began. Um, you're dealing with somebody that is cold. This person is cold, and they know that they hurt you. They know that they hurt you, but that doesn't mean that they're going to put in any effort. They're, they're not going to change. They're unreasonable. They uh, had some tricks up their sleeve from the beginning. This person is not going to invest. So I think on Saturday, uh, I don't know, this King of Swords, this, is, this could be... This is a professional. This is a professional. This is a professional player. This is a professional player. I almost swore. Oh my God. Because this is a professional and this is a player. Saturday you are going to realize that and you're going to and it's going to hurt when you realize. It is going to hurt when you realize that you are dealing with a real player on Saturday. This person is cold as ice. Really doesn't care if you're bleeding. Doesn't care if you hurt. Oh, bastard. You... Oh. Judgment on Sunday. Judgment reversed. The hangman reversed. And the king of wands. So you're definitely going to need to make a choice between two. Remember, we saw the lovers between two this week. You got one 
You got one here that is, it looks to me, that is completely playing with you. You know they are. Your gut tells you that they don't have good intentions. And it starts right at the beginning. You know it right now as you're watching this. But you can't seem to stop playing. You need to find your confidence and your courage to step out of fantasy land. Okay? Seriously. This is a card of self-confidence and strength. You're going to need to find your strength to overcome this sort of illusion. Don't let this person take you down. This person is really has an opportunity. You've got somebody here that is going to put in every effort. And it's not like their, their effort is to take you down. Maybe it is because they see how strong you are. There is people out there that want to bring the strong one down. I'll, I'll, it's like take the bull by the horns. Is probably going to be an arrival. This person is writing, they're read, waiting and reading and happy and content, has everything they need. And there's an arrival of some sort or a message or something like that on Wednesday. This ain't good. And then there's regrets on Thursday in the moment of decision and feeling restless. Withdrawal. Lack of content. On Friday, there's a profound change. It starts with death. It starts with an ending because, you know, somebody's wish, if you think about the, the, that dandelion thing, is, isn't being fulfilled, you know, with this person from the past or this person that you feel the soulmate connection with. It's not being fulfilled. This person is lazy. They don't follow through. They, uh, oh God, ignore you. This is like ignoring the two of swords or something like that. But this is uh, this is like, in, you may be in denial over this person or you're unable to see the truth or you're dealing with somebody who has blocked emotions. You could be dealing with somebody who is unwilling to open their heart on Friday. So there's no, there's no like any kind of communication or anything on Friday. And you may be feeling, well, stabbed in the back on Saturday. I mean, we got stabbed in the back here. Like, oh my God, this hurts. It really hurts. So you're dealing with a very cold-hearted individual who is a professional player. I mean, we got a freaking professional player here. And on Sunday, this is a poor judgment call. Move on from that bad choice when you get judgment reversed. You didn't listen to your gut. You didn't listen to anybody. This is being ashamed, feeling guilty, needing to move on from that bad choice. Seeing things differently. The hangman reversed. It's like, uh, perhaps you just couldn't learn your lesson. You, and this is karma. This is this is not learning a lesson. Somebody did not learn a lesson. And, uh, you know, maybe you should have chose the King of Wands. So, the King of Wands would be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the King of Wands is taking action, finding your strength and your courage to hold your head up high and go down another path. So on Sunday, I feel like maybe you will have become enlightened because you made a bad choice earlier in the week. You will be accepting some sort of truth that you refuse to accept earlier in the week. Good luck.